Hey guys, welcome to Relax Your Finds coverage of 6.84. Today we'll be talking about Aghanim Scepters. We'll split this series into a two-part video. In this video, we'll talk about 8 of the 16 new Aghanim Scepters, and in the other video, we'll talk about the other 8 of the 16 new Aghanim Scepters. Without further ado, let's go! Centaur War Runner Centaur's Ag gives two changes to Stampede. The first change is that your whole team gets free pathing for the duration of the ult. Basically, all of your allies get to move around like a Firefly Batrider or a Spectre walking on her dagger. For initiation purposes, it allows your whole team to easily follow you in from awkward angles, like going uphill during tier 3 pushes or surrounding the enemy inside the Roche Pit, but it's also great for defensive needs, if you need to get out of the Roche Pit, or if a teammate is trying to escape a gank. And the defensive perks of Ag Stampede get even better, because the second bonus with the Ag upgrade is that it reduces all incoming damage, physical, magical, pure, whatever, by 70% for the duration of the ult. So, how viable is it? Probably core now. After getting a Blink Dagger, Centaur could usually build whatever he wanted. Pipe, Heart, Force Staff, they're all still good items if the game calls for it, but Ag will always be a safe choice. Legion Commander. It's time to do, 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 Yep, duel never ends now. If you get an ag and duel someone, it won't end unless you get separated by over 2,000 distance or someone dies. So, is that useful? It's situational. I mean, in theory, it's an indefinite disable. As long as your team can follow up, it's a great way to pick heroes off. But keep in mind that ag as an item doesn't really help LC get kills that much easier. Lifestealer. You get a new ability called Assimilate to suck a hero inside of you. Any HP that you gain, they'll gain as well. And whenever they come out, they'll deal 300 damage in the same AoE as Infest. This one isn't really viable. The problem with Ag on Lifestealer is that Lifestealer is usually played as a carry. Except unlike Tiny, this Ag Scepter upgrade doesn't help Lifestealer carry or farm any better. It's just utility. Sure, it's pretty funny to do a three-man gank with this upgrade by assimilating a hero and then infesting inside another hero, but funny don't win you games. Luna. Luna can now cast Eclipse anywhere in 2500 range around her. Once she targets an area, you're granted sight as moonbeams rain down upon the area. She can also target an ally hero and have the beams follow them. Oh, but if Luna dies, the Eclipse will end prematurely. This one has the same issue as Lifestealer's upgrade. Yes, it does crazy damage if you get a good setup, but Luna would probably prefer to have other items that help her farm better or carry harder, so I'm gonna say not viable. Morphling. Oh, ho, ho. All right. So, with Ag, Morph gets access to a new ability called Hybrid. This allows him to turn himself into an allied hero for 20 seconds. While in this hybrid, you can cast any of the hero's spells except for their ultimate. Oh, and Morph can only get out of the hybrid once the 20 seconds are up, or if the hybrid dies. Viability? Broken. Being able to copy an ally to double up spells, this is, this is a joke, right? Double tombstone, free techie's suicide, I mean, this is just off the dome. I can't even imagine what chaos this will bring. Naga Siren. Not too much of a change here. Naga still sends her enemies to nap time as usual, but with a Scepter, you'll now heal your team for 42% of their max HP if they're in your AoE for the whole song. For the traditional carry Naga that gets Radiance or Diffusal or Butterfly, I wouldn't really consider adding Ag to that list, since most of the time you're off split pushing away from your team anyway. For support Naga, if you can farm it up, that's a lot of healing. So it's situational. Nature's Prophet. Wrath of Nature now spawns a treant when you kill creeps. If you kill a hero, a super treant will spawn with three times the health and damage of a normal treant. Is it viable? Well, Prophet already pushed and split pushed extremely well, but with the addition of free treants and super treants, it's gonna be extremely annoying for your enemies to deal with. 
And don't forget that his ag always and still does add extra damage and bounces to the ult. So if you're the kind of prophet that likes playing single player Dota, it's definitely viable. Nyx Assassin. Nyx can now turn into a Starcraft unit by getting a new ability called Burrow. He can't move or attack when burrowed, but he has buffed up HP and mana regen and increased damage resistance. The main thing, though, is that when burrowed, he has over a thousand cast range on his impale and mana burn, and more importantly, Spite Carapace now stuns everything in a small AoE around you as soon as you cast it. If this was added last patch, I'd say it's absolutely viable. After Nyx's core Blink, or Dagon 1, he could always get pretty much whatever he wanted. The thing is, some of the other newer items like Solar Crest or Lotus Orb, which we'll be covering soon in another video, may be better luxury items for Nyx. For right now, we'll call this upgrade situational. Hope you guys are enjoying our content. Of course, if you want to check out the 8 other new Aghanim Scepters, or any of our other videos, you could click on the boxes on your screen. Click them! Have you clicked them yet? Click, 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 click.